Hello everyone, Kotongwane, the native code here. So, with Darcy and Chase's formulas, we sometimes get cases where we have to make use of Chase's formula in conjunction with um, Darcy's formula, or vice versa, right? So, we're going to look at how we would approach such a problem, right? So, this problem reads as follows. Water flows through a pipeline of diameter 100 millimeters and length um, 60 meters it's a velocity of 4 meters per second with a resistance coefficient of 0 0.01 right now the diagram for this I've already drawn it so we're simply just going to copy and paste and so the diagram for this looks like this one Right, so we have a horizontal pipe. Right, the pipe length is sixty meters. The pipe diameter is zero point one meter. Right, they also gave us the the velocity. So the average velocity is four meters per second. Remember, if you have a pipe and it has a constant diameter, it means the velocity at entry and exit of the fluid running through the pipe will be the same. Hence, us calling the velocity average velocity. Right. And then the coefficient of friction is the 0, 0,01, right? Now for horizontal pipe, we know that the H, so H1 and H2 are equal, right? Now let's look at 5.1. Calculate the loss of head owing to fluid resistance using Dawson's equation, right? So we know the loss of head, the only loss of head we look at here is frictional head loss. So they want us to calculate the frictional head loss using Darcy's formula. Now they've given us right they've given us the velocity so we are going to use the variation of Darcy's equation or Darcy's formula that is particular to a velocity right or the variation of the velocity variation of Darcy's formula right now we know that HF right for the Velocity variation of Darcy's formula is equal to 2 times F times L times V squared over G times D, right? And if you look at what you've been given, you have F, you have L, you have V, we obviously have G, and you have the diameter. And so substituting, this will be 2 times Right, so the F is 0, 0,01. The length of the pipe is 60 meters times the average velocity is 4. So that squared over G is 9,81. The diameter of the pipe is 100 millimeters, so 0, 0,1. And if you push this in your calculators, you're going to get 19,572 meters right so that's the frictional head loss right for this pipe right now for 5.2 so this was 5.1 right for 5.2 is it check your answer using Chase's equation now how we or the cases you can expect where we have to use Chase's formula in conjunction with Darcy's formula is they could ask you to calculate the frictional head loss using Darcy's equation. And then, right, in the follow-up question, they could say, maybe calculate um, the hydraulic gradient, you know, calculate the um, hydraulic mean depth, maybe calculate the, um, what else? Maybe calculate um, Chase's constant, right? So in such cases, because you've already calculated the frictional head loss, right? You know that maybe if they say calculate the hydraulic gradient, you know she's using Chase's formula, HF is equal to the hydraulic gradient times L, right? Now, because you've already calculated HF, you would simply substitute HF here, the one you calculated using Darcy's formula, and then substitute the length of the pipe and so for the hydraulic gradient, right? 
So you have those kind of cases, right? And then you get cases where where they ask you to calculate the frictional head loss and they ask you to check your answer using Chase's equation or Chase's formula, right? So we are looking at, at such a case. Now, in this case, because they are asking us to check if the hydraulic, the not hydraulic man, the, 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 the frictional head loss that we just calculated, right, is correct. They said check if you check your answers using Chase's equation, which essentially means that you have to calculate we have to calculate the frictional head loss but now using uh, what is this um Chase's equation or Chase's formula, right? So because they said check your answer using Chase's equation, right, it then means you need to calculate the frictional head loss again but now using Chase's formula right so as we know as far as Chase's formula the frictional head loss is equal to the hydraulic gradient times L right now we obviously do not have the hydraulic gradient right we do not have essentially because we have to calculate HF again so it's like we do not have HF again right so the only known essentially in this equation is the length so we have to calculate the hydraulic gradient first right so once we've calculated the hydraulic gradient then we can come back to this formula right substitute the hydraulic gradient multiplied by l and then the frictional head loss that we get must be equal to the one we got when we used uh, Doss's formula right now so let's first calculate the hydraulic gradient, right? Now under Chase's formulas, we have the formula to calculate the friction head loss, and then we have the formula to calculate the velocity. Velocity is equal to Chase's constant, right, times the hydraulic mean depth, or the square root of the hydraulic mean depth, times the hydraulic gradient right now we know we have v we do not have c and we also do not have the m which is the hydraulic mean depth but you can calculate both right now as far as as far as the the hydraulic mean depth solving for the hydraulic gradient right in this formula right when i divide both sides by C, obviously that cancels, so you are left with N times I is equal to the V over C, right? Then you obviously apply the square the square of both sides, so this cancels, hence you're left with M times I is essentially equal to V squared over C squared, right? Then solving for I, you have to divide by i both sides so divide by i here and then here you're going to divide by i as well so essentially that goes so therefore i is essentially equal to v squared over the m times c squared right now as we've established we have the velocity but we do not have the hydraulic mean depth and we also do not have the Chase's constant but we can calculate both so once we've calculated both we can simply substitute them in this equation and then we will have our hydraulic gradient so in calculating m and c right the hydraulic mean depth we know is equal to diameter of the pipe over four Right, the diameter of the pipe was 100 millimeters, which is 0 0,1, right, over 4. And this is equal to 0 0,025 meters. So that's the, right, that is our, um, what is this, uh, 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 hydraulic mean depth, right. So the value of the hydraulic mean depth is 0 0,025 meters. So in calculating, Chase's constant, right 
we have to use this special formula which is c squared is equal to 2g over f all right so because essentially we are looking for c squared all right so we, we're not necessarily going to solve for c we are going to solve for c squared all right so we're going to leave this as it is so 2 into 9 comma 8 1 over f which is equal to 0 comma 0 1 now if you punch this in your calculators you're going to get you're going to get 1962 right so going back to this equation right we now have the velocity we have the m and we have c squared right now instead of substituting here you can simply substitute i which is equal to that in this formula right now we know that hf is equal to i times l i is equal to what i is equal to this here right i is equal to this so you simply substitute that times the l right right so hf essentially is equal to v is equal to the four meters so this will be four squared over m we know m is equal to the zero comma zero comma zero two five times the c squared c squared was equal to one nine six two times l length of the pipe is 60. Now, if you punch this in your calculators, they get 19,572 meters, right? Now, as you can see, the friction net head loss we get when using Shears' formula is the same as the friction head loss we get when using Doss's formula, right? Therefore, you say, therefore, HF Darcy is equal to HF Shazzy. Right? And that's how you would approach a problem like this one. Right? If you have any questions, get into the comment section and let's talk about it. Right? See you in the next one.